Welcome back, Billboard Magazine's declaration that British pop star Josh Stone is the biggest selling reggae artist of 2015 has caused a firestorm in the reggae dancehall space. This after a Jamaica Observer article carried this headline. Billboard names Josh Stone reggae artist of 2015. On stage right now to discuss this issue, two people who know so much more than I do about these matters, two very, very accomplished players in reggae, musicologist Dr. Dennis Howard and veteran tour and personal manager Copeland Forbes. My brethren, the two of them, right <laughs> now, right here on our stage. Definitely. All right, let's start, start gentlemen. Um, Dennis, shoot for me um, and tell me whether there has been any retraction or clarification by the Jamaica Observer on I, this article? I don't know of any, but it, this is a deeper issue. And the fact that billboards declare somebody their top selling artist, whatever genre it is, yes. has nothing to do with the origin of the, 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 the music, has nothing to do with Jamaica because you're talking about the United States. And whoever sells the most, the, the last couple of years, you have reggae songs being on the billboard and winning Grammy. You mm. have people like Train with Soul Sister, mm. which was a reggae influence pop song. And then you had Rude, mm -hmm. which, was, which, which I think was last year. Mm -hmm. so, so nobody made any, any comment about that at that, that particular time. The fact of the matter is reggae is a universal genre. Okay. It is played all over the world. You have different versions of reggae. Hawaiian reggae, you have British reggae, you have Zimbabwean reggae, you have Ghanaian reggae, you have Barbadian reggae, you have Trinidadian reggae. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. this claim of saying, of, of believing that everything in terms of the music business and what happens in the music business must be centered around Jamaica don't make any sense. If, it's, it's the same argument that they have about the, the Grammys. The Grammys is about songs released in the United States, songs that are submitted for nomination, and then the selection process. So if you have a song in Jamaica that was never released, or an album that was never released in the United States, and was never nominated, oh, and okay. never even met the criteria for, for, the for, for nomination. United States of America. You can't complain that, because, yes. oh, the song that should have been, in a, in a, oh, what about the song there? And, uh, and talk about songs that you don't know anything about. But you're not living in America. OK. Copeland Forbes, sir, what's your take on the issue? OK, when I heard it first, I was taken aback. But then I gave it quite a few thoughts, you know, and I made some call. And then I said, let, let me first find out what's the criteria used in deciding on this person being reggae artist of the year and i realized that it was sales of records mm. right i remember two years ago jim cliff sold what 33 000, mm. which was the highest sales for that particular year now when i heard 33 000, then i laughed because record company gave it 10 and 20 000 for promotion <coughs> that's not but under, yeah. under, under the, 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 the situation now with all these technologies i said well it looked like 30 000 is a good sale when i made that research now and i look i think the next best person besides just stone was um jack Yor, yes with uh, 10 000 and, and, and much the rest of them are doing better look at them because you're Paul so surprised G. to see the sales of what they are mm. you know what i mean so i look at it and i said well if that's the criteria that they are using to declare this person as reggae artist of the year, then how you gonna how you gonna argue and fight the point? But I'm uh, I'm still unclear. If if the billboard if billboard itself declared Josh Stone the reggae artist of the year, or did they declare their their top seller? Seller, in, in, yeah, in, in that's the, why where I wanted to make the difference. That is what I know. There's a difference between a top seller. Said. Yeah. This is the top selling reggae yeah. artist of the year. Yeah, yeah. you so, say top so, selling so reggae why, artist of the year. Why is this thing creeping to, to say that she's the reggae, the artist, reggae artist of, of the, the year. year? I'm not sure if I don't that, understand that's that a categorization. Part I don't, yeah, I, I, I am yet to understand why the, the, the Jamaica Observer's uh, headline, I think, some will say misleading, yeah. but could also mean that if you sell the most, then you're the biggest artist. But you know, the most important thing that we should take away from this the fact that a British pop star mm. 
could, could, could with, with just a few reggae songs on her album, sell 27,000 or 29,000, because I've seen conflicting figures. The fact of the matter is, even within the, 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 the scenario of record sales now in, 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 in the States, that's paltry. Yeah. That's yes. embarrassing. Yeah, that's what I said to myself. <laughs> that's, that's really embarrassing. You know, the shows is nothing. Yeah. What we should be looking at is to say, what must we do to release more songs in the States so that they can be on the billboard? You're making and to increase the sales of records. Record sales are now increasing with the, with the reintroduction of vinyl. Vinyl is vinyl doing is very well. Yes. Yeah. If we are saying our music is international, reggae is an international genre, and we used to beat our chest and say we are international, wouldn't it follow that people will not only consume it, but they will, they will also be compelled to perform it yes. and produce it? Yes. Listen, all of our genres, imitated, adopted uh, uh, elements of every American genre, from blues yes. to, to, to R&B to yeah. rhythm and blues and all of this stuff and rock and roll. And we created our, 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 our own, own genres. Sound, though, that. No, we can't then say that because we created these genres influenced by other people's music. Yes. Then say, and don't forget jazz and Cuban music mm -hmm. in, in there. You can't then say, listen, everything that comes out of Jamaica is, is pure. Yes. And nobody should deviate from what, 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 is, what, what happens in Jamaica. And if you play reggae and play, interpret reggae a different way, that is not authentic. It might not authentic, be authentic to us, but an Hawaiian listening to Bruno Mars playing a reggae song, that's authenticity for them. Of course. Yeah. Well, you know what hit me the other day? I sat down and I said, when was the last time one of our songs by one of our artists being covered by an international act? And I started to try to trace back. We cover them as them drop. Them do them come out the studio and we hit it fast. <laughs> we are the best covers in the world. Yes. Right? To do it. But then, when was the last time an international act cover one of our artist songs. It's Gregory Isaacs, Night, Night Nurse, Nurse and, and we, 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 the white group in England name. Um, all of them covered it. When last any of Simply our, Red. Yeah, Simply Red. Simply right. Red. When yeah. last any foreign groups cover one of our acts, um, songs, right? And if it's not, what's the reason? Because the songs are not good. Good. But that's they're not, the, that's they're the not criteria. great songs. They're, yes. not, they're not universally. Majority of what we're putting out is not, it can pass Port Royal disguised as an angel. What has been happening is right? that now they have been sampling, and I predicted yeah. this a long time ago. I said dancehall songs will not be covered. Yeah. They will They'll not be, be covered. They will be sampled. Yeah. And we have seen and it with line, Kanye, West, full song. Kanye West sampling Barrington Levy, Sizzler, and also Popcorn and Junior yeah. Reed. And, 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 and that's, where, that's where it's going to st stop right now. You know, one of the songs that is still being covered in an amazing way is Bam Bam, the Stagalak rhythm mm -hmm. with, 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 with Sister Nancy. Every year or every two years, somebody samples that. And in fact, somebody even uh, used some of the lines for a new pop song. I can't remember the name of the artist. So the, the, the fact of the matter is, it's still the old stuff that is being covered and sampled, mm -hmm. you know? And so what we need to be concentrating on is good songwriting. The Swedes mm -hmm. have mastered that. All of the, most of the big songs you hear on American radio and European radio is written and produced by people from Sweden. Mm -hmm. Max Martin, Carlos and, uh, Andreas Carlson, and all of these guys they're a powerhouse, making ton loads of money, staying in Stockholm and producing for Britney Spears, Backstreet Boys, Beyonce, Rihanna, and making ton loads of money because they guess what they do? They write good songs, songs with great punchline, songs with memorable, memorable themes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what is actually telling us then that we need to put more professional concentration and production and writing. Songwriting is, Song writing issue. is right a now. great issue that we, we problem we have. It, uh, people are just rhyming. Because you know I think, I mean? I that's think basically is, what it is. Dennis, is reggae ever, ever bigger than it is right now? No. Reggae. Mm -hmm. Reggae is the most enduring genre. 
yes. of all the genres right. that we have, we have created. It's not ska, it's not mento, it's not dancehall. Dancehall to me has been overhyped and has ex been exposed tremendously, but has never delivered internationally. Yes, it's big and exciting and solid in, in, the, in the diaspora, and it's also great in Jamaica, and we love that. But we're talking about making music that will be transferable, that people will re relate to. People will remember Jimmy Cliff, they will remember Peter Tosh, they will remember Bob Marley, they will remember Dennis Burning Brown. Spear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they have not, they still don't know some of our dance our stars. And that's true because I just them. came from South America. So, so, you, so, right? so where would you put Sean Paul, Shaggy, Shabba Ranks, Beanie Man, Bound to kill her to some extent, Lady Saw. All, right. all of them have had all right. yes. <laughs> but incredible not, mainstream international but not success. With, not with dance hall songs. Name the dance hall song that Shabba Ranks went to the charts with. Slow and sexy, R and B. Twice my age. Twice my age was never on the chart. Never. never? Nowhere. Never went on the billboard chart. Mr. Loverman. Oh, Mr. Loverman, R and B. Mm. Uh, House call, Punani, R and B. Punani, but. No, no. <laughs> Check Shaggy's song. Yeah. Shaggy's song, uh, Bombastic, never yeah. went anywhere until they sampled uh, Sexual Healing. Yeah, Bounty in, in Killer, it. no doubt. Bounty Killer, but, but, that's, but, but that's a crossover kind of sound. It is almost... Hybrid. But, and it's not even dancehall, it's yeah. a reggae hybrid. Mm. Lady saw reggae hybrid again. Mm. There is no pure dance. And Sean Paul's songs. Look at look at. Uh, I tell people that the first song that made it big, which was uh, uh, "Give Me the Light." Mm -hmm. "Give Me the Light" is New Age music. It's not even dancehall. It's not classic dancehall. The lyrical content, the musical composition are not you are, are not dancehall. When they say "Give Me the Light" and pass the more. Bust a little bottle, no, give me the Joe, the and yeah. bust a little bottle of more. That's, that's Yankee speak. Yes, we, we don't, don't understand know what, what Joe, it means. Joe. I tell you, he's right The enough. video, the video, the video. <laughs> Listen, the song was so different in terms of syncopation. Yes. That it's only Canadian dancers they got to do the video. No but dancer, Jamaican of, dancer was in it. Of Jamaican descent. It yeah. doesn't matter. Of Jamaican it descent. Matter. Yeah, but, but I want to tell you something, Dennis. You're talking about this universal sound that is developing. Yes. And, and so, dance, to say that dance all itself has been successful is not entirely true. Look at the songs. You okay. name one dance all song. That all right, day. case me. We, not, we don't come out of it. You see that same song you're speaking about? Yeah. I was in Cuba, and I spent a little time there, and they didn't know that it was a Jamaican who did that song. They thought it was a Puerto Rican. Oh, that's Sean Paul. Yes, yeah. Yeah. give it a light. The same, I have to show the same them. thing happened to me in South Africa. Yeah. yeah they they thought, thought in 2003 that Sean Paul is an American rapper. Exactly. Yeah. We had a Mayor Rupert had a, a, a quite a task convincing black South African that Sean Paul is a reggae Jamaican artist. Then they were talking at the time, they were talking about man like Bojabanton, Sizzler, yeah, exactly, Caperton, yeah, and those yeah. artists, not to mention Bob and yeah. Peter and those. What but I had to do in Cuba is say, look at his hand, he always wear red, gold, and green, band around his hand. Yeah. Yeah. And I used to say to them in Cuba, see, his hand, he has the red, gold, and green. And they said, oh, it's really Jamaican Rasta, but yeah. it's a brown Rasta. I said, whatever but, it is. But, 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 but let, yeah, let me just yeah. say this too. When we talk about dancehall not hitting, internationally. This is not to detract from the power of the music itself yes. and the influence it has internationally. But we want to sell records mm -hmm. and we want to sell artists that can yes. tour and make money. So we have to decide if we're going to stay on the parochial level and even in certain countries stay on the underground level or we want to be massive like, like other pop stars and hip hop stars. It's time we decide what we want to do. So we can't pat ourselves on the back and say, oh, here it is usually say, oh, boy, dance all big and Jamaican music big in Japan. But I've been to Japan and don't hear one dance all or reggae song. Mm -hmm. uh, listen, one of the most successful groups, reggae groups of all times that people overlook. Yes. And probably in terms of earnings, they are, they are the closest to Bob Marley and the Bob Marley estate. I, I, I don't know if they would love to hear this, but I have to say it. In a circle. 
Inner yes. circle. Inner circle yes. is a big, I agree huge, with you. huge, yeah. huge international, international they travel, yes. they travel and you, tour sir. worldwide. Yes. Yes. As, we it's, speak, it's true. as we speak, mm -hmm. Inner Circle is Philippines. earning money. You know why? Yes. Because of one song called Bad Boys. Yes. Yes. Because as we speak, Bad Boys is showing somewhere in the world. In my experience dealing with promoters around the world, they look at the Jamaicans are less business-like. They, 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 it's not about business for them, you know. Um, an artist, he'll book an artist, and then he'll look on the side of the stage, and there's six people standing there that he pays the ear for your far, the per diems, the hotel, and everything. And he's asking, who are these people? And he's a sidekick. But he's a promoter paying the expenses. And they and, do take uh, stock of these things? Yes, they, 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 yeah, they are observing these things. So yeah. they don't look at us from a business that we are good business people anymore. No, the, the, the groups like... I have a list here like Groundation, Soldier, The Green, Mr. Boo, Midnight, Catch a Fire, Bruno Mars, Slightly Stupid, Let's Go Bowling. These are some of, the, some of them, not all of them, some of them who promoters are yearning to because not just because they are foreigners, but they have a good business yeah. head. And, and they look at it. Yes, they're manageable and they look at it and treat it as a career. Yes. While most of ours just treat it as a holiday yeah. and, and, and not from a professional standpoint. And that's the thing that kind of bothered me, you know, because I just had the experience down in the Caribbean, you know what I mean? And I saw it. You know, you book an act and you have six people that the promoter is spending money for, you know, standing at the side of the stage and pointing finger in All the ear. Right. That won't make no All sense. Right, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. But one thing I want to leave is that, as Dennis said, the genre is strong out there. You know, it's very, very strong. Reggae will never die anywhere and the, around and the, the world. And, and I the, think and it's the, label, the biggest we have seen it. And, yes. and, and the label, Reggae Revival, just don't make any sense because reggae was never in, in need of any revival. E exactly. Anywhere. That's what I mean. Because even in Jamaica, consistently, the major hits them that come out every year, yeah. year after year, are reggae songs. I mean, as you mentioned, two big things that, have, that I covered, two big things this year in 2015. One, the um, Catch a Fire tour yeah. with the Marleys, Junior mm -hmm. Gong again, and, and, and Steve Marley, and the, and the, and the Cruise. The Cruise. Yeah. These are, these, what's your take on this? Fantastic. Dennis? And it just shows you that the music is alive and well, and that the Marley brothers, they don't get enough credit, because if there's anybody who is to be attributed to any revival, it's them, mm -hmm. this, because they have maintained the, the iconography of their father, dressing in a particular way, mm -hmm. doing the music in a particular way, d d d doing, going over boundaries in terms of the kind of sound that they use. Look how long, it's about 10, 15 years now them, it was written, you know. Yeah. It's still a classic, which is, 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 is at the time when it was out, it totally, it sound totally different. So, it just shows you that we need to understand the markets that we operate in. We need to make the right decisions. Everybody from different genres of music, anybody in the music business, have to compromise. They have to tailor the music so that they can be very successful. We tend to not want to do that. And, we, and listen, all of our artists them are hype, you know, and have egos, you know. But there's a, the hype and the ego, and then there's the business part of it. So the promoter don't get a chance to deal with the ego part of these artists. They deal with the managers and, and, and the, the handlers who take care of the, 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 the money part of it. So it's not like we're saying only Jamaican artists hype. Mm -hmm. Most artists hype. Most artists anywhere. Look for Kanye West. Who will have a bigger ego than Kanye West? <laughs> but he's a businessman at the end of the day, uh, too. Yeah, yeah, true. He's <laughs> known to build him brand. Kofi, your take on the, 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 the catch a fire as a tour manager yourself. What, what, how do you feel about that and the cruise? Well, i tell you something. Um, one thing I have to correct, though. Everybody said that's the first reggae cruise. No, I did the first one in 2000. <laughs> Big ship sailing in the ocean with Fred McGregor and 809. Right? Oh. So but we that was a one-off. Yes, it wasn't as huge as was this that, one. Was it yeah. how long? How long did it last? Uh, a week. A week too? Yeah, a week, you know what I mean? But it wasn't as huge as this one. This one, I knew it was got the effect that it was going to have. I knew it because I saw it, and a lot of people from around the world came. Now they have decided to get the bigger ship, and I think it's going to grow and grow. And I must congratulate the Marley's, the Marley brothers, rather, 
for really, really coming up with this innovation. And it's a good idea because what it has drawn, and a lot of people would just say, oh, I go hear that to me. I never knew that Jack here could come to America, not knowing that he joined the ship in Montego Bay and do his performance between Montego Bay and Montego Bay. I'm ready to go to this. What a wonderful conversation. Now, this is what we do. We can do it longer because mm. when it's up online, it's mm. exposed to millions. Yeah. Trust yeah. me. Well, I'm, I'm but we must close off, though. We need just a little more professional people, managers and people who are handling the artists and not just sidekicks and brethren uncles and cousins who is a yes man to the artist okay so. and that will help us to grow because we need people who are very practical well, and call a speed well speed. if the right. uncle and the father and the cousin have a knowledge of the business no problem yes the, i have no problem, problem with that that they don't know nothing you see that's the point so always a cry all right there you have it right here on stage dr howard dennis howard and the great copeland forbes <laughs> discussing the business of reggae, and in particular, the Just Stone issue. I hope we've shed some light on that. Stay with us when we come back right here on stage. The little lady in the tight up skirt will be here, and later, Lady Saw, one on one, on all the questions that have arisen since her baptism. All coming up right here on stage. We'll be back. Hi, thanks for watching our video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking right here and enjoy so much more where that came from. Undeniable hit that thrust her into the international mainstream.